torture them, find out what they know, then kill them. Why would the Templars want to kill the Romanovs? Surely they would murder the children. I can't concern myself with this. I have my own family to protect. I need to find that box, and then get Anna and Nadia far away from this madness. What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Sinister Channel 1. Welcome back to more Assassin's Creed Chronicles Russia. Memory number two, Red Fury. Let's get right into this. This is another one of those really, really challenging missions. I should trip carefully. Templars are all over this place. Lots of, uh, I mean, it's going to take you quite a while to actually figure out the routes for this one. And even I still uh, can't get them perfectly. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to wait here. You want to wait until this guy is going to be going in the other direction to give you enough time uh, to do what you got to do. And about right. That way you can get under here without uh, any of them seeing you. Here's pretty simple. We got a new ability. This time you can do a ch uh, well, I guess it's not really a new ability, but this is something different. Now I gotta say, this is one of my favorite sections right here. Sorry if you hear my cat in the background. She has decided to, uh, to meow on call on video. She wants a little attention. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is going to be a little confusing to see, but it actually works. I know, hon. Daddy's working. Daddy's working. <laughs> but we're going to wait. As you can see, the guy in the outhouse is in the back. We're going to wait till he is looking in that direction, and then you want to jump. If you tie it in there correctly, if you go to the left, once you get to here, then you'll get to an animus shard. A long way from here. I like how I totally forgot to do what I had to do. I'm such an idiot. So I messed up the timing on that one, but that's just funny. So now we gotta wait a little bit. If I would have done correctly and we remembered to uh, to short circuit that, then uh, that would have been a problem. He just follows the guy, so. Go there and see for yourself. It's just a mix of those wanting to get rich. Those vents could provide me a way to move around these enemies unseen. Yeah, I had heard that. But I don't really listen out for any news of it. So, timing is, is very, very important uh, in here. Somebody there? You want to do it as soon as he turns around, that way you know you're going to have enough time. Here you're going to want to wait because he's going to turn around. Again, use that same method. Make sure you don't move when you're inside the bush. And we really don't need anything. So they don't want Bolshevik rule? Brave choice. Here you're going to do another noise. How is your family? What was done? Uh, coping. I'm so Again, don't forget to check the maps for the uh, animus shards. Put their hands on it. Long way from here. Isn't that where the anti-Bolsheviks is? <laughs> Alright, so this guy's got a key. We need this key in order to unlock this door. A couple different ways you can do it. We're gonna use smoke. So you can actually stand right here, go ahead and equip your smoke, and as soon as both of these guards come, you're going to uh, use your smoke and then get to the window. And 
and should be good to go. Alright, this one requires you to be very, very quick before the guard goes back to his post, or else you won't be able to get by that guard. Alright, so this is another very, very tricky one. As you can see, there's so many things going on that you just can't do certain stuff. You can't climb up there because of where guards are. So the only way that I've been able to figure this out is to use a smoke grenade again. On these two. And then go ahead and do this. Now here is a little tricky. You'll notice that our secondary objective is right here that we need to get. Always got to get the secondary objectives even if we've already got them once before. So you have to use this in order to get it. It took me actually quite a while to figure out how I could even do that. So uh, That probably would have been a great time right there to go, but we decided to, to wait. Oh yeah, that would have been a perfect time. So we're just going to wait for him to turn around and then we should have ample time to get to the next area. In the next area, there's actually two different ways you can go. One way is going to get you a couple of different uh, chests, shards, all that kind of stuff. And you'll see it right here. You can go this way. That'll get you to uh, some more shards and all that. But we don't need to. And there's actually an animus shard up here as well that you can get but again we don't need to get it I don't know can we get can we do no I was thinking we could break that or something that that would have been really cool amazingly this guy won't see you either way I'm glad I stopped all right we're gonna have to wait you gotta be when you when you use a telephone you actually have to hold up for a while. Uh, it's not just something you can hold up for a split second or two, it's hold it up for a while. Once he's done that... Let's just hope things Nothing. Somebody there? All right, we did that just in time. Just my mind playing tricks. Go on. So this one's a little tricky. He's getting back there. I don't know if he's going to give us enough time. To do what we gotta do. What are you? What was that? Yeah, it's just really not gonna work that way. See how he doesn't move from that spot? <sighs> Nothing. So. I'm really, really trying to remember how I did this. How about yours? Better now it is summer. <laughs> Nobody minds when sunshine comes through the holes in the roof. But still, let's put somebody there. Oh. Uh, that would be how I did it. See, sometimes I even overthink things. the interrogation going? Not well. Sverdlov already had the Tsar and his wife killed. The kids are next if they don't talk. Hmm, the Tsar is dead? I need to see that. They did it. Killed the Tsar. At least they don't have the box. Let's check this basement. <laughs> So 
so we're only going to this room here for. Yeah, sir. sir, can you hear me? Ah, uh, telephone lines must be down. Well, the most of the left and the right both oppose them. Right. Very tricky to do. Where is that box? Uh, so far, we haven't made a mistake yet, but I uh, just jumped the gun there, so I'm sure it's going to happen now. Oh, yep. Just about screwed it up there. So it doesn't. Uh, doesn't that doesn't happen for long? We gotta be quick. Nice. Kill them. Wait, one of them is missing. The young is gone. He must have the box. Find her. You don't die. Shoot the children. If it wasn't for the mission, I would kill you all. <laughs> all right. So here we're gonna. I know I shot myself in the foot there, but here you're gonna want to. Um, you're gonna want to wait till he turns around. And that's going to be it. Well, not yet, but close. Oh, are you going to hit me like that, huh? Gotta love the reload. The girl, she's here. There we go. Please, no. Easy, I won't harm you. I just need that box. What? What is that around your neck? What is it doing? Who? Who are you? Please, child, just give me the box. No. I'm sorry, but I'm out of time. No! Alright, very interesting. Well, let's see if we got the maximum skull available. It looks like we did because all everything is in shadow and gold and we have done so. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this was informative for all of you out there. Please don't forget to comment and uh, like the video. It's very easy. Just hit that like button. It helps the channel out so much. You, have, you guys have no idea. Helps me to be uh, searchable and everything like that. So it really does help. Thank you again for watching and of course I will see you next time. Peace out. Bitches!